to, this is going to be a short haul. Um, my kids are just in the other room. This is the first time that I've actually made a video. And I don't even know how to make eye contact on the camera, so we'll see how this works. Um, I just came back from Walmart and checked out the Better Homes and Gardens selection. I've been a big fan of their candles. Um, I always found them to be a good value, especially when burning them in the bathroom. Um, nice small space. They give a good throw pretty consistently. Um, sometimes if I get an amazing throw, I'll move them to the kitchen. But for the most part, they're my bathroom candles. Um, and usually my guest bathroom for the most part. Um, that room tends to get forgotten about and so a good scent in there when I have company at the last minute is um, very important to me. So first up we have, let's see, this one here is Passion Flower Vanilla. Um, there is no description of this but you know it's a standard jar candle. Pardon the fingernails. Um, I smell more plum, not much vanilla in here. Definitely a floral scent, a good bathroom scent, I think. It really does smell just kind of fruity. Um, not as much floral, I guess. And I don't smell any vanilla on cold stuff. But we'll see. Next up, we have Simmering Apple Cider. This is the label. This is your typical apple cider scent. There's nothing you know, special about it. It has a good throw. I've burned this one plenty of times or variations of and I've always had good success. I actually put this one in my kitchen a lot on the stove. Mm, good. This is a new one to me. I'd never smelled this until I walked in today. My um, six-year-old picked it out. So we'll see. Let me see. This is called Cranberry Mandarin Splash. And already I can smell the um, citrus portion of it. Very much cranberry and mandarin orange. The mandarin orange is really powerful in this. On cold throw it smells amazing. Hoping that I can put it in my kitchen because it really does smell very yummy. Right. And I do also have a iced carrot cake burning over there, um, but I also picked up the iced carrot cake tarts, so um, I won't show you the candle, I won't bother you with that, but this smells just like iced carrot cake, carrot cake frosting. So I picked up two of these, and also I picked up some butterscotch maple. This is very butterscotchy and very maple. I actually think it's a good combination. I'm looking forward to trying this out. These actually are the first time I've purchased wax, Better Homes and Gardens. Um, but I've heard great reviews from both Angela and other YouTubers. So hopefully it will burn okay. Melt okay, excuse me. Um, this one is Salted Lime Margarita. I don't know if you can see the picture of it. Excuse me, I'm on my laptop and I'm not a pro at this by any means. Mmm. It's definitely limey. It does smell a little bit like a salted margarita. I don't know how it will melt. It will see. It was an experiment. We don't normally do lime scents here, so and this is another one my nine-year-old picked out today. And let's see. Wild Island Passion. Wild Island Fruit. You see that? I'm sorry, the lighting in here is terrible. It's my brightest room, believe it or not. Let me see. Oh, this is really fruity. It sort of reminds me of a fruit cup that you pick up in the refrigerator section or at a pre-made fruit cup from a restaurant that they put in front of you. It's exactly what it smells like. Like with pineapple and kiwi and melon. Very yummy. And then this one is scented, scented mango salsa. I picked up a big lot of candle a couple of weeks ago that has like a mango salsa smell. Absolutely no throw at all. So I was, after smelling that, I was really searching for a um, mango-y salsa smell after that. And This is kind of perfumey. I don't know. We'll try it. It's 
For $2, I picked it up just to see what the throw would be and how it would smell. On first sniff, though, it's more perfumey. I can smell some fruit, but it's kind of strong for me. We'll see. Then these next two were also favorites that I was really looking forward to trying out. Um, candied Caramel Apple. Um, I believe someone in Angela's group on YouTube, on Facebook, excuse me, mentioned the caramel apple smell, so I bought that on her recommendation. Might have been Joy and Blessings, I'm not sure, but it mostly smells just like apple with a very faint caramel scent. I don't know. We'll see. It sort of reminds me of Macintosh from Yankee Candle. And we picked up two of these. And then this is everybody's favorite. We were in the smelling it and all three of my kids and myself all just completely fell in love with this set we love chocolate scents in this house so this is chocolate peppermint truffle can you see that this is terrible lighting i am so sorry you see and this smells just like mint peppermint like candy cane mint with the chocolate it kind of reminds me of the bath and body works mint chocolate candle that came out this year um that's a favorite in our house and i only have two of those and they're we're burning through them very fast and so i'm a little nervous so i'm hoping that these will melt okay because i will go back and finish buying out the rest of the tarts that I smell like this because it's just an amazing smell i'm hoping that they'll smell okay when they're all melted i'm sorry about not making eye contact i'm still not used to this whole video thing all right, and if I'm talking too fast, please let me know in the comments. I tend to talk really, really fast in real life. It's the Canadian friend to me. All right, um, what else did I get? Oh, well, the funny thing is I don't own a tart burner. <laughs> I don't. Um, I only discovered wax from watching Angela's YouTube videos. Hi, Angela. Um, and uh, she recommended getting um, the Better Homes and Gardens um, tart burner and then Yankee Candle. The Yankee Candle one is coming. I have a Better Homes and Garden here which I'll show you in a minute and I actually splurged and got one other one that I saw in one of Angela's videos that I'm completely in love with. Um, the first one I got was this is the one from Better Homes and Gardens. It's the pumpkin um, and it has the flicker switch on it so I can plug it in. The cord is super long on this one. I'm really excited. Um, it will fit on my kitchen counter and I can actually stretch it to the stove top, which is where I like to burn most of my candles. Um, this one, someone said to check wattage. This is a 25 watt. I'm really searching for an 18 watt burner, so if you know where I can find one, that would be great. I think both of the ones that I picked up today were 25 watt. And I'm not exactly sure when the Inky Candle Hall comes in, I'll look on that one. I'm not sure what wattage that one is. Um, the only thing, actually, with this one that I'm a little kind of annoyed with and I didn't even think about it when I picked it up was um, the tart burner has this you know green stick thing it's cute I mean it has the I keep calling it tart burner I know I'm, my terminology is messed up but um, it has the stem in the middle so that means that I'm probably gonna have to cut some wax tarts when they come in um, so I know that I won't be burning Yankee Candle because those things are re melting Yankee Candle those things are really hard um, but Probably the Better Homes will do just fine because they're just these little tiny squares. Um, so we'll see. And maybe a scoopable would work really well on this, but I don't even have a scoopable to try yet. So we'll see. And then lastly, sorry for my profile. Um, this is the one that I saw in Angela's video that I completely in love with. I am obsessed with owls. And so this came from um, Walmart. I got a little bit of a discount because it has a little chip on the nose here. I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little speck. So I'm going to try Sharpie. If not, I'll repaint the nose. I do ceramics already, so I have the paint and the glaze that I can just fix this myself. But um, it was on discount because it was broken. I, that was the other thing. I couldn't believe. I went to go look at all the um, warmers. They had very little selection because... Um, they were completely wiped out, so I guess wax melting is becoming very popular. Um, but also, they were broken ones in the shelves. They were like, I don't know, they had to have been five or six broken ones. I think I probably got the last two that were not broken, but both of them have little blemishes in them. So I'm kind of hoping that maybe they'll restock. I hate my Walmart, though. I don't go in there very often. It's always crowded. Um, it's been converted to a super Walmart, um, which is nice, but 
I find that it's just always a crowded. I much prefer going to Target. Unfortunately, Walmart has the better offerings for candle and wax right now. We'll see. All right. And then let me see if I can reach it without. I just started burning this candle, so I'm not too worried about the wax pool. This is the iced um, carrot cake one that I was talking about. I found this. This was really nice. This um, candle holder was only $4. It was in the clearance section um, of the Walmart. It had the big red $4 sticker on it. So that was nice. Um, it's kind of wibbly wobbly um, on it, so I probably wouldn't put it somewhere where the kids have access, but it looks really pretty on the center of the dining room table where we do school. And I might, I guess, put it on my kitchen counter, but it's got an autumn theme with the pumpkins on it. But most people don't pay attention to that stuff, so I'll probably keep it out year round. All right, there we go. All right, and I think that's it for my haul. Again, I apologize for the crappy video. I'm not very good at this. I'm not good at making eye contact. My space is, this is the brightest room of the house. I have a big, huge window on that side of the room. As you can see, big, huge window that I covered with a sheet to avoid the glare, but it's raining, so I guess I didn't have to. Um, that is all, so thank you. I don't know if I'll be posting a video ever again, but um, I just wanted to say hi to everybody and thank you for all your help. Um, and advice regarding the wax melting and when I get my um, hauls in I guess from um, Tiffany candles and front porch maybe I'll post another review talk to you soon bye